This is the Severance Enclosure Banner of War Titan. It's absolutely amazing at using swords. The Chivalric Fire, which you can pick up from any of the seasonal vendors, is in Vanguard, Gambit, and Crucible. Um, really work well with this build. Um, obviously, using Banner of War, you're getting that added damage on top of it. And being a caster frame, it's monstrous. Plus, it is Repulsor Brace as well and destabilizing so it is an absolute monster this is a god mode titan um i don't tend to play leap play so you won't really see that in my footage um i'm more of a just plug in play have fun kind of person but if you want to go for that one two punch and use that shotty go for it and it works really well and like i said this uh titan is practically unkillable Severance Enclosure, one of my favorite exotics to use on Void. I'm using it on this Strand build. It works very well with the Banner of War. You get the Powered Melee Blows, Unleash a Damaging Explosion, Finishes and Final Blows against more powerful targets, Increase the Radius and Damage of the Explosion. And it's absolutely phenomenal, the area of damage on this. Um, it's it's a mind blower for ad clear and um, like I said banner of war is always good to use in a fire team as it regens health and with this as well the way we've set this build up is that you're going to be getting the uh, woven mail for your teammates as well so this build is absolutely fantastic running solo and it's also fantastic running as a whole on a fire team I love it um, as you can see here with the chivalric fire, it's an absolute firework display. Um, it's potent as hell. Like I said, um, in this footage, it could have had better um, ammo economy, but you can add your finders to your build if you wish. The way I've set up this build is in its basic form. So, like I said, there's a few adjustments you could probably make to it. I mean, you could probably set it up so that you can get more... Um, unraveling rounds and stuff like that with it but i don't think it's needed as is is good enough to get you through all content we'll take a look at the build in a second but this is going to be the first of my upgrade videos a lot more fun i'm going to be having on videos soon i'm going to be running a dungeon with absolutely useless builds useless weapons useless setups and putting that out boy up Okay, don't forget that like and subscribe once you finish watching this wonderful video of mine. But you can see in this footage that this Banner of War, anyone who's used Banner of War um, knows what it's all about. But that area damage that it does using the Severance Enclosure is what I'm showing you here. It just pops everything off around it. And the thing is, like I said, it's when you're hitting that harder, heavier target, you get a bigger area and a more powerful explosion, which is what we're going to be wanting with this. Running with fire teams, um, you can literally hold the floor down while your fire team members and fellow guardians are doing what they need to, or you can just go in and be an absolute killer with it. Now, my setup here obviously, the Blade Fury is the one that you've got here. You have your suspend, you have your sever, you know, people unwind into tangles, which is what you want because you're going to be throwing tangles left, right, and center. We're going frenzied blade, obviously, the only thing on this, but we're going to be using the grapple to get in there and shoulder barge the shit out of anything you hit into the fray. We're going to be using this because nearby allies, when popping your super or destroying a tangle, they're going to get wave and mail, which is the most important part that we need. Banner of war, you can see here. You get the periodic healing, melee and sword damage is increased for fire team members as well. Transmutation, wave and mail. Um, you're gonna gonna be putting out those tangles when you have the wave and mail. Then you're gonna be getting thread regeneration, dealing damage with the grenades, and then you're gonna be getting fury. You're gonna be um, damage with the melee, another tangle, and a thread of warding, which can be giving you that wave of mail on those orb pickups. Um, you can see here, this is your bit that you can screenshot and keep it your way, but you can see how I'm set up here. Obviously, I'm using a graviton lance or a void sword, so I've got that siphon on, but I've got my strand siphon, but you can see they're heavy handed. I'm 
popped up on two of those. I've got my firepower, one of those. Like I said, you want those orbs back. And then these are all your resistance on the chest. Um, empty slot there, because if you're taking on that gem, you might even need three of them. It's a re really easy setup to use. It's a lot of fun to use. And like I said, it's a no-brainer build. Um, it is super strong. I'm not really into the loot play, like I said earlier. I'm just into getting in there, having a having a mess about, and um, just enjoying myself. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of this build. I've got this uh, Lost Sector footage of the champions for you. Like I said, Coltrans from Necrotics Gaming could do with a little support. So put that like and subscribe in, and I'll be bringing more great content. Like I said, I will have a lot more fun content coming as well soon. Okay, I will see you in the next video.